Uh, my guest this evening, let's get back, get back down to it. My guest this evening, I'll do some editing with this one, but oh gosh, father. <laughs> Nikki Robinson. So, full time mother of four, full time employee at the University of the West Indies, and now also for the last few years, a very avid um, YouTuber. And doing so, and I'll have to pull out the YouTube page by the, by the meantime. But yeah, yeah a, a big time YouTuber. In fact, I'll tell I'll tell you <laughs> I'll I'll tell you guys this. I told her this, right? but I'll tell you guys this. One of the reasons, one of the one of the last few things that took the little fire for me to, de- to decide to do this was Nikki. She you know, she probably know that. She probably don't, she probably didn't know that. You know, because um, Nikki worked with me for a while. You know, she was one of she was my assistant for quite a while and did a very good job. Um, but uh, like many businesses, sometimes you know uh, you have the downturn, you have the slowdown, you have those those periods. And and realizing, listen, this lady have a husband, she have children coming, ting ting ting. You know, it. I had to be concerned about her too. You know, and then she told us that um, you know she had an offer. Um, that came to her to go back. She actually left you to come to work with me, and she told me that the offer came back. To, you know where she could afford to go back. I said, "Girl, take it, take it, take it. Do it make sense. We go fight up, thing, thing, thing." And um, even while there, she continued to assist me and in, in my business as much as possible. So I was surprised to see, boom, Nikki Mosai Robinson, big time YouTuber. I said, well, "What is this?" Editing and all kind of thing. I say, what is? Well, I feel nice. I felt nice, but I say, I say yeah. I say, but wait now. If Nikki could jump in and do see on YouTube channel, why waiting on? What going on with me? No, it was not jealousy thing, eh? But I was actually motivated and inspired when I saw Nikki do it. Jump out there, took the challenge. I say, nah. I, what excuse I have? And by the way, if you're interested, guys, here is where you can find her on. Um, YouTube, just look for Mosai Robinson, M O S I Robinson. Her contact is not, you know, very simple handles. So it's easy to find her. You could find her on Instagram, you can find her on Facebook, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, but this is this is where she focuses a lot of attention now on YouTube. And every week she has videos coming out, and I was always, always seen some kind of thing about Pennywise Hall. And thing with she thing with Amazon and you know she went by this place and, and she come with a bag of thing and you know <laughs> always looking to capitalize and, and I mean that's 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 one of the unique yeah that's one of the unique differences with the male female scenario. Um, my father, for instance, had a thing. He would walk in a store and see a suit. I wondered. I, I, excuse excuse me excuse me. I wondered. Yeah, asking no price. It he like that. He like that. He just he just wanted. You don't care. Women tend to be more economic, so they shop wisely. They don't they don't they don't just grab the first thing they see because they like it. You know they look to see where they could get it cheaper to maximize to stretch the dollars they say and and which is good and it's something I actually learned from from observing my mom and my wife. So I tend to do that at times, but every now and then I go back to the man mood and I see something I like it. I just buy it. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, let, let me get a little history here. Like this, um, when I was training, when I was training in production at TTT, the then TTT, the very first TTT, they had a program at the time called Party Flavor by Request. Um, certain people of a certain generation remember that it was called Party Time. It was Party Time at first, then it became Party Flavor by Request. And so there was a calling segment, um, and um, JW was one of the new announcers on the station at the time. Or Brian Haynes was the man behind the scenes and that kind of thing. And in part of the training, I happened to be one of the guys taking calls, you know, and to say, "Well, we have so and so on the line, and what it, was your conversation or questions that the case would be?" And here's this this voice on the line calling the thing. I said, "All right." you know but she's very she's very uh she had a very captivating voice 
you know, very, you know, eh, eh, who is this, who is this lady calling here? Thing. So we had a little conversation, boom, 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 put her through the line, thing, thing, thing. And she was just excited. She getting on the show. She getting on the show. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then, um, I think a couple, she called back some them after that to find out who she spoke to because apparently I was very um, cordial in my dealing with her. And she, you know, she was kind of surprised that, yeah, and we just and we just set up a nice friendship that has lasted up to today since that. Yeah, boy. Yeah. So I got a chance to meet the family, the sisters, the brother, the mom, dad. Real, 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 um, nice people. Real nice people. So fast forward from there. So that's a little history where Bosai and I uh, met. Um, and then from that time, Mosel, what Mosai, sorry, what actually say Mosel because I have a niece named Mosel. Yeah. <laughs> so at what point? At what point did you get into UE? From then, from that meeting point, how long after you got into UE? That was your first job, really, at UE. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. We, no, not my first job. Um, my first job was at Direct One, so I okay. just wanted to be someone there. For like two years, I don't frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one asked you what, what, what that. It's not easy dealing uh, with international people over the phone. They have like a whole attitude. Like, uh, so wait, direct. Well, I mean, uh, to be honest, I'll be just. All I like to be honest. I, I straight up. I always heard about direct one. I never took the time to find out exactly what direct one did. What was mm-hmm. their business about? What what it what what were they about? Um, the more or less target an international customer base. So you call persons over the phone, more or less like sell them packages from their companies. If you are offering them a credit card, offering some service, some company will have brought to okay. direct one. So basically, that is what it, that is what it was. But it wasn't easy. Because a lot of people are like, What are you coming to me? 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 What are you coming to and they yeah. will treat our accent. So they probably most of the times they confuse us with Jamaicans. Yeah, yeah. So they will assume that we are from Jamaica. Um or we're from England. You know the funny thing is a lot of people the minute you say you from the Caribbean, their first inclination yeah. is Jamaica. Jamaican, yeah. Are you Jamaican? And and you would think that you would think that people more intelligent like that. Eh? I mean, sh- world map and all that kind of thing. And sh- so Jamaica, is, Jamaica is the only country in the Caribbean. I yeah, guess because Jamaica is so well known for their dancers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're more out there. Even when you tell, even when you say you're from Trinidad, they feel Trinidad is part of Jamaica. It's part of Jamaica. Yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah, boy, that <laughs> crazy way. Yeah, yeah, that be lazy way. Uh, so how, how long, yeah, how long I stayed there? How long I stayed with them? Two years. Two years. And I was like, I had enough. Thanks for So you went straight to UE, or you had to do some job yeah. hunting before? No, I went straight to UE. Okay. Right, I yeah, that Godfather. How you get that job? For you? Ah! I don't know. I'm just asking. I don't know. Um, I didn't have a Godfather. At that time, you really was a bit more relaxed. Yeah. Because they were not a temporary staff and they were now expanding. So they were not, uh, they were not as large as they were before. They were just now starting to grow the new programs being offered, new faculties being developed. So, um, actually, it was one of my mom's friends who was living there, and she talked about a vacancy that was available for persons outside of the university. And then she asked on my CV to her, and then she went to the campus. All right. Mm-hmm. I see we have somebody calling here already saying hello. Ali, uh, how do you pronounce that? I don't want to mispronounce the word. 
A O U E D. How you pronounce that, Mosel? Mosai. That's, that's your people. A O U E D. I don't want to mispronounce, <laughs> but anyhow, to this <laughs> to this dear person, Ali, thank you for 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 dropping in the first comment on the ch- and they saying hey, so apparently somebody you know or, or somebody who knows you. Who knows? Could be a could be a staff worker that you know, uh, or maybe that's somebody who follows your page. You need to look at that. Right? So it could be somebody who follows your page, which is, <laughs> which is nice. Which is nice. So thank you for that comment. Um, yeah, man. So let so you we um, uh, where you, where you work now in Uwe? I'm in the faculty of engineering. Oh, you end up there. Um, working on campus, you come around a lot, because when you're temporary, you go to the month, yeah. before you come to the month. So, I have worked in my school, I've worked for a team, I've oh, worked on the campus, okay. they okay. come okay. around different faculties. What, but what I, I, I have, Yeah, no problem. What, but what exactly do you do? I am the office manager slash senior secretary to do. Yeah, so I manage everything within the office. Um, and yeah, senior secretary for the team. So I have the team to the day running, whatever emails, phone calls, letters. Okay, okay. You taking PJ? Oh, PJ. I know. I'm not advertising of the faculty, so that has been a new thing that has been passed on to me. So yeah. Um, you know, advertising practice on social media. So we're just getting prepared for what happens in engineering office. Nice, so. nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what, what, and what do they offer in a nutshell? <laughs> oh, for engineering type program. Yeah. So if you're looking to be a civil engineer, a mechanical engineer, chemical engineer, um, engineering type program, we have a lot of things that you can do. Um, we have geomatics and management. So those are the types of things that are being offered. Um, so, if you're interested, you're applying the program, you're applying yeah. your other subjects along with it. Three levels. Okay. Math, 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 so these 20 courses that you would have done and ah, okay, okay, I get you. step into a particular department in yeah. the department. Yes. So yeah, so it's civil, it's chemical, it's mechanical, it's environmental engineering. Hmm. Yeah, all of those things. I wanna put you in I wanna put you in another spot. No, uh-huh. I, I'm not trying to be mean, I just wanna put you in the spot. No you you mentioned something there, me- mechanical engineering. Mm-hmm. What is the difference between mechanics and mechanical engineering? If you if you could answer, mechanical, mechanical engineering is more like equipment. So you know, large equipment from where companies they make uh, from manufacturing any manufacturing industry. Okay. Oh, so like those big so machines and right. Okay. Okay. I get you. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that's what mechanical engineering is. Okay. 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 Okay.
So yes. you so you went through your schooling, you study, you get a big work. You get a big you get a big man. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, take us yeah, take us take us take us a little bit into that. Um uh, home uh, work dynamic. dynamic. Yeah. It's it was challenging, um, because I would have had my first year of wife study. So while I was pursuing my first degree for that day part time, so it was taken four years to complete that. Yeah, take that um so I had like two first kids. So my first and I sat down while doing my first degree. It was challenging. My first pregnancy was easy while doing the degree. That was I had to take a little bit of this because nothing was taken. Like nothing. Really? No matter what I study, nothing. Mm. <laughs> so I had to take a little bit of this while doing it. While I'm pregnant, but it was challenging. It is challenging because you really have to identify your time to do things before. Kids making sure they have love and attention. The part my students, you are studying after the world. So that's like from five to ten minutes, you're on campus. Yeah. And then, um, but I have to make my way home. Yeah. And send off the kids. And by the time it's 12 o'clock, we share it with the kids in the afternoon, morning, the next day. And you have to sit studying. It was difficult when I did my first degree. Uh, but I did my master's. I was, I had my other two children. It was easier, I guess, you know, living from the challenges I would have encountered by doing my first degree. Um, when doing my master's now, I would be as I needed to juggle everything. Mm-hmm. And for those two pregnancies, things stopped though. I didn't have any problem. You never think that they were in the exam room. <laughs> <laughs> they were fighting for this, so I was going to have the baby. <laughs> But it was a lot to be yeah. Um I think it's a sacrifice you have to make in order to make a better life for your family. So I had to take all of that into consideration. This is a sacrifice I'm making for them, for our future. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so uh, talking about the hour, um, how, 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 old, how long are you married? You and Ken? Um, yeah, from 2000 to that one. Yeah, and hey, <laughs> let, me, let me give a big up to Mr. Ken Yata Robinson. The man who decided to take on this challenge. You see that, that lady? Let me make sure I point this here. See? It's easy. That, it's easy. That, that lady, yeah, she's not easy. She, yeah, she, but nice. Real oh, nice people. So yes. let me say, I hope you, I hope you saw me there listening and watching on. So let me say a big hello to, to, to Ken Robbins. <laughs> ah, you've been, yeah, you're, you're doing well, my brother. You're doing, you're doing well, you're doing well, you're doing well. And um, yeah. you all have been doing well as a couple, I must say. Mm-hmm. I've been doing well as a couple. Um, so how how has how has how much I, I want to use my the terms carefully. I hear you have a next device on and like I hear no feedback coming. I do because yeah, like I hear myself coming back in. Anyhow. So let's go. Okay. Um how significant was was Ken's role in no but before before you answer, let me say this. No um you know in the American system you could plead the fifth, right? If you if you ask a question that you don't want to answer. We don't have it here, but you could feel free to plead the fifth. If I if if I should ask you something that you feel you're quite ready to answer on air, you could plead the fifth, right? So we we'll move on. <laughs> so how <laughs> Um, how 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 significant was Ken's role in allowing you to be uh, what you needed to be to be able to fulfill your task to be able to, to work the way you would want as you know to get your career going and so on. Um, I don't think I have been able to do this before. He made a lot of sacrifices for me, um, even in my certificate program. Um, at that time, we had temporary. My salary was like much around that time, and he was making a significantly more money. Than yeah. so it helps me to pay for school. So I paid my certificate program, and at the time when I started 
if it was done for Donald, it was not easy. So I had to come up with some of our thousands to cover the money situation. So he has been there for me financially with no micro degree, my certificate. You know, when I come home and I'm tired, or he tries to play a game on the computer other than study, hmm. he was more or less my motive. He's like, what are you doing? He's supposed to study. Yeah. And I remember sometimes in the study, all kinds of things distract me. I came up in a fish game, farm bill, and then he was like, what are you doing, girl? He's supposed to sit here with me. And even in long nights, if I was out all up the phone in the morning trying to study, yeah. he would sit here with me, try to, you know, to help me to stay up. And even if I needed to ask the questions, I'm um, no. I'm remembering what it is I'm studying. Yeah. So, yeah, he has been interested in my health at home with kids while I have those long hours in class. I don't have to come home and talk about food. So, that has been. Like, yeah. Uh, interesting. That's that nice. I, didn't, and it, I have a kind of opposite similarity in that, in my case, it's not study because I work late. As you know, I. One, two in the morning, so now I yeah. editing and all that kind of stuff. But my wife, I mean, she wants to support, but you know, she, she can't edit, she, you know, but she, she will try to stay up just to stay around, you know, thing. And yeah. she on the couch, TV on, and she fall asleep on the couch waiting, or she might come in the studio. And I understand that, but I'm, and the thing is, probably the man and me. You know, being the protector and thing, I am now concerned about her. Is it Gil, go and sleep, go yeah. lie down on your bed, kind of thing. Oh, so it's, oh, yeah, it's, 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 yes, it's a kind of little mental juggling because I understand why she's doing it, but at the same time, the man in me don't want her to be stressed. I want her to be rested, and you know, so I always had to be kind of juggling in my mind whether to quote unquote run her in a bed. <laughs> Or oh, leave her at this oh, point in time. Let's yeah. just, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, so I totally understand that. Totally understand yeah. that. It's really nice when you have a supportive partner. Like, it you is. Can't do it yeah, and, and Ken has been doing a fantastic job. I mean, just looking at some of the videos. I mean, just to be sitting next to you in the car while you're doing your makeup video and he's just normal. <laughs> <He's been supportive. laughs> Alright, so for who for who not sure, I just go and run this quick, 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 quick. Let me see if I can do anything. Right. You might you might need any audio. Um But uh, guys, this is this is Nikki and Ken. Yeah, they do. They, there's some couples thing they was doing. I'm not too sure what it's about. I ain't got a chance to watch the whole video. Ah, you know, but <laughs> ah. <laughs> I love it. Oh God, oh so, Nikki, what's, what's yeah. that about? What's that about? Some game or something oh, you guys was doing? Yeah, so some couples um, thing. Who is yeah, more? Ah, who is more likely? Who's more likely. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, but so what it was? What was, what was the game about? Was who is more likely to like fall asleep while watching a movie? Oh, okay, like a yeah. trivia or something, yeah. right? right. Yeah. I get you. I get you. Mm. And then, well, this is the channel, um, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so feel free to jump on YouTube. As I said, just look for Mosai Robinson. This is the channel, and you will see a heap of stuff, Pennywise and wonderful world <laughs> hall. To go, uh, uh, my oh, my go to makeup. What, how I yeah. lost 35 pounds in three months. Right, that is a very interesting, um, one. Pennywise Hall again. Pennywise Hall, oh, yeah, just live by Pennywise. Yeah, I know yeah, no, that. Listen, I see a number of you, um, local YouTubers, females, of course, yeah. are doing a lot of that. There's a, yeah, yeah there's a doctor who I, who I also follow. Um, who I, 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 I can't Joe remember. Was that Joe? Is Kujo? Yes, 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 yes. Um, I tell you her first name, but yes, I plan to yeah, plan to have her come on because I want to know. Um, as a doctor, you're a YouTuber, a doctor, 
<laughs> yeah, I, I want to know how you, you know, so I'm saying, but so I've looked at that. Oh, when I could, I watch her videos as well. She's very entertaining. Yeah, 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 yeah. and I like how she deals with topics. Uh, yeah. Kimberly, Doctor, so Doctor Kimberly, could you, if you're looking on, we big you up, and uh, I plan yeah. to send an invite. In fact, what I want to do one of these days is have a YouTubers convention kind of thing. Oh, so no, I'll, I'll cool. rather use Zoom for that. So I have a set of local YouTubers yeah, on. Um, there's another girl I, li- I like to look at. Um, oh, good. Some of these names just elude me. A sh- smally, short, red skin girl. Nice, smally face. Deidre. Um, I think it's Deidre. I think I have the name correct. Anyhow. Okay, I'll probably look Yeah, I just get I just started getting to know a few of them. So I like the okay. page. I started to look at um you know one through the videos. So I said it might be nice to just get a set of local YouTubers together yeah. and just talk about you know what those experiences because I know people who are actually making money now locally off of YouTube. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right? Initially there was the perception that you couldn't because of how the, the system is. Um, yeah. You had to have a US address and all that drama, but people have found ways around it. And now there are people in Trinidad that make money off of YouTube. You know that? Yeah. You didn't know that? Well, you know that now. Right? So, who knows? One of these days, I, I plan to be one of them after all this hard work I put now. Let me get a little thing too now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's work, it's work, it's work. It's work. But I really had to love it. Yes, you, you really do. have to love it. You really have to love it. Hey, look, um, my big son saying hello there. Ah! <laughs> Why does he have a mother? You don't have a mother What's that? Say? Oh, well, that's our next story. We could we could deal with by itself. That you good to know? Yeah. Hey, now yeah. I, I tell him. I tell him that I said openly. I said on Facebook. I post congratulations. Now he doesn't press me. He, yeah, he, he took so. yeah he he took music to a different level i right he just talk a thing no i i just yeah. were you talking no what kind of language is that <laughs> yeah you know, so he said you go down his musical terms and that kind of thing you know? yeah uh, now nah, he, he, he could he could he could he could and um he always leaves the audience yeah. with that kind of expression which is good so let me just say hello to my boy Eric Alvarez Jr., aka EJ, aka Songstar. You know, all his cousins and his nieces and uncles, and they love to hear him sing and you know stuff like that. So he does, he's doing good. He's doing good. Um, so let's jump back to you. Yeah, boy. So Mosai, all your Mosai, all kind of videos, Pennywise Hall, and they pull out a bag of goodies where they, they spend a thousand dollars or they spend a five hundred. And how much things they get for that and listen, listen, listen. It's not expensive. No, it is, it is, it is. No, but what I what I I've I've went through a few of them, not only yours. Not only yours. Um Yeah, yeah Doctor Kimberly, yeah. she does it too. Um the same girl you are told about. Look at Danja Wilson. Let me, let me pull it up for you. I want to know. I the and DeAndre Wilson. This is a. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. I love like, whatever camera. Like that's a phone. Yeah. That, no, that looks like a DSLR. That is what yeah. that I love. Right. So she goes through and and goes through, walk you through process. Now, while while of course I understand. While I understand, of course, a lot of these things are, are more woman centric. Um, the thing is, what I gather from it when I when I go through, for instance, and, and you do one of your Pennywise hauls, mm-hmm. and see the amount of things you guys get at Pennywise and the kind of <laughs> figures, because a lot of things is not only if women use it. A lot, a lot of stuff is thing men could use too. Yes. So it, yes. it you know, it say, hey, hello, go by Pennywise, maximize your dollar, you understand? Know yeah, most of the things are even more cheaper than Pennywise. Like, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is good. So, this is good. so when you decide to jump on this YouTube journey, let me, let me hear that story. All right. So um, on the campus, we have a coaching program that I'm a part of. 
because uh-huh. in my career, I felt like if I wasn't fulfilling, you know, there was something that they And I needed something more. So my coach, I have a lot of people that I admire myself. So I guess that's where the love and passion came from. So and a lot of people that have to be a minister, but I do this kind of recommend something that we look at college of mine. And now to my coach. Um, she was like, um, I think you need to get into me about professional. So she said, oh, I'm going to go. And she gave me her look. She has a particular look. Yeah. And I call it Atlas. So it's like Atlas Piercy. <laughs> <laughs> She said, like, no, you need to do it. And I was like, I always admire people who do one thing. And I think, so then why don't you do that? Let's do it. Do we need you? Yeah. Do we talk at all? If I have a place to move to, you can't be so like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Like, that okay. Like, you know, let me just do it. Yeah. Let me just jump off whatever with whatever I have. And the camera will go, blue moon. Yeah. Oh, awful leaf vegetables were. I remember those. Who <laughs> <laughs> was? So I decided, okay, let me just jump on and see, and then I just fell in love. It was a way for me to do my makeup and, you know, expand. Yeah. Enjoy what I'm doing. I learned a lot of it because so many people I did to do that. I always stop So from there, I see passion started to. I started thinking about a different thing, about a different technique, that's all. And yeah. So then it's like, we'll come get into my side. Mm-hmm. It's a whole new thing. But add to the videos, add to the pieces. <laughs> so I was really thankful for that. She's like, you know, I don't know how to do it. Why is it your mind? It's I'm like, okay, I'm a friend. <laughs> and but, that was it. but but why i mean you understand she encouraged you but you actually felt that or because i mean you're working in the department of engineering you know one might have thought that maybe you would have done something along those lines you know yeah. kind of thing but you decide yeah. to go for a, a makeup something on youtube yeah. um i guess part of the coaching was for me this is not for what it is I love. Yes, I had my academic in regards to my academic department uh, master's and it's really whatever. Um, my makeup happens. I had two women makeup and training and development. And because training and development, I wanted to do more with that. I felt like I wasn't given the opportunity to. And she was more or less forming in the place my training and development in the area of makeup because I had passion for it. I was teaching people of the village on campus. I was persons were coming to me for advice and wanting to do them how to do things. You know, taking it for free. And because I enjoyed it, she was like, she's not much people to get. Mm. And like, starting it with you And it did help me grow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, ladies and gentlemen, just remember, um, as usual, you know, if, you, if you're kind of liking what we're doing, feel free to give us a little like, a little share, and let somebody know what's happening. You know, Red is here, all about helping people, um, inspiration, education, motivation, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and of course, click the little bell, so you'll know when we're live, you'll know when we have something happening, and we're here every Tuesday. Just remember that, let me go, get my, let me find my billboard, where's my billboard? Right, so we're here every Tuesday, 5 p.m. So if you have an interesting topic you want to discuss, just this morning I got a call from someone. So we're going to explore that. But if you have an interesting topic you want to discuss, you have some matter. It's, we're not here to go down politics and what the country and who government and thing. But maybe you have a suggestion that we could raise to bring awareness to people of how we could fix something in the country. We'll take that or two, you know. You want to talk music, you want to talk health, you want to talk life, family matters, school, education. You know, feel free, hit us up 
give us a call you know give send us an email um the number is there also on whatsapp four seven seven one one two one um and let's see what could happen let's let's see you know how we could make this red journey you know a very beneficial thing to a lot of people so we jump back to my guest here miss mosai robinson mrs mosai robinson where can where can he there inside he lied on yeah all right all right all right so mosai um let me ask you a couple pointed questions um have you don't forget you can plead the fifth right uh have <laughs> um how how has this youtube thing been beneficial to you have you started making any getting any payment as yet um it has been beneficial in regards to getting to recognize my group um uh, companies reaching out to me for collaborations okay. and so on uh person start making or booking appointments to to the meetup okay but a lot of yeah but you youtube is youtube itself you started paying yet youtube itself no no even though you've reached the 1000 subscribers and yeah you still have to increase your watch hours in our step yeah. more than that so no nothing but it's not only that too eh? i found out this i i thought was that but it's not only that um well we could talk but just throw it out there there are a couple other things you have to have an ad sense account and a number of different things yeah the ad sense account and the email account right yeah you have to have that us you had to have some kind of us connection thing happening because they wouldn't pay you direct in Trinidad. yeah 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 so instead of the accent, but you it takes a certain amount of you know, yes, yes, back. I know that, yeah, monetary value from yeah, yeah. Yes. Let's see how it so goes. Sometimes I've seen where people posted a video about a year ago, and only now the video started to pick up, yeah, and they have a million views on those videos, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just like not because we put a video today and it's the oh, I don't have fun when I actually come to the world. A year or two down the road, you're so surprised as you know that video makes you popular because it now become relevant to a lot of people. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen it with one of my videos where I was talking about the back of body with all that was like I just something I just sat down and did because I was like, oh, that's what the hell. And then I thought you have to do a and what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have over 2,000 views. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and at the time when I did it, it didn't have point of view. But yeah. then when I started to look at the, uh, my page subscribers list number starting things, it was as a result of that particular video. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. Okay, man. Cool. <laughs> now, that's, what, that's, one of the, that's one of the nice things with YouTube as opposed to regular regular TV. You yeah. might you might get a you might get a larger viewership in an instant, but that's it. Because after that show go off the air, that's it. That's it. Unless yeah. it unless they decide to post it up on some social media channel. But that's the thing with YouTube. <laughs> So I seen videos now, for instance, based on my searches, based on my interests, that somebody did about four, five years ago. But I now seen it as if it's something that only went up last week. Yeah. Because it has yeah. relevance to me now. And guess what? They're getting clicks. They will get paid on that at some point. So yeah, there's hope. The YouTube thing nice. Yeah. Man. But what I found as well is that if you use another platform the kind of funnel or panel if you want to say youtube it really does have to do with the panel yeah so that's yeah. my friend uh, you know he does a lot of lives on facebook 
and that her channel viewers to her channel and she has about 100,000 subscribers now right. but Always like one of the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I only, I only recent, only a couple days ago, I officially set up my red Instagram page and my red Facebook page. So right. what I was using was my personal profile to channel. But so now our official. So we have red YouTube, we have red Facebook, we have red Instagram. You know everything linked da 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 da. Uh, nice. Sorry. Uh, good. It happened again. You can keep that. Yeah. I I guess it's when they open the door. Oh no no not the feedback no when I said happen again something that was here that I was gonna ask you and it just. Oh and it go on. Yeah just. I don't want to it. Yeah again it, again to that point that again to that point it just. <laughs> yeah, but that, but what you're saying is true. It's a matter of the thing is, yeah, they say I did a short survey. Actually, saw one of my friends on you on Facebook do it, so I decided to do it with my, you know, some close friends and family just to get that sense. And the question was, if you had the chance to view the same content on Facebook. Instagram or YouTube, which one will you view it on and why? Mm-hmm. What was interesting was that nobody's response had anything to do with the quality of what they look at. Right, that's true. The quality wasn't important. One person actually said um, they would. The reason why they would look at it on Instagram is simply because they spend most of their time there. Right. So yeah. they don't want to leave that to jump across the uh, next app to so even though the picture is small so <laughs> as opposed to big so they don't matter to them they seen it that is enough yes yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. enough so they're watching on the instagram so it's something yeah. i am currently working so that logistics yeah. out that i have found that as well because on that on my book not even robinson anymore yeah I started uploading a lot of my older videos on Facebook. Yeah. So um, those who don't want to leave Facebook to go on to YouTube. Yeah. So yeah. also helps with to subscribe to my channel as well. So yeah. sometimes I think Facebook will keep your videos in their feeds, in the video feeds. So that helps in you know, the of uh, your channel. Yeah. Because I think it is something be when she posts a lot of her videos on Facebook but hers is makeup and screens yeah or will that makeup or something so it's really interesting what how she does it but that has helped us turn into a significant amount yeah posting makeup on Facebook but you see if you have to find YouTube up yeah you can pop that you know but when you're all the other things going on it's kind of difficult but at I have now planned out how to do my Facebook live so time streaming where I can have my Facebook live to have the channel grow to so have it covered. So I think it's a lot of planning, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, um hey, um my boy Daniel Atterton. Hey Ati, what's happening, Lord? <laughs> and Daniel is saying IG TV will also work for you. And yes, I agree um igtv will work however it has and that's the thing this is the thing about it all these channels have their setbacks for, for instance one of the things with igtv while it allows you to for instance turn your phone sideways yeah. so you get a nice big picture the, the downside with igtv is that you're limited to a one hour stream yeah. now while yeah. that might work for most people um with the kind of stuff as you know we, we do a lot of live stream events and all that kind of stuff um i've done some ig and every hour you had to stop restart the stream so if you don't remember to do that sometimes like a good 10 15 minutes pass content gone people feel a sign off you know so it has its drawbacks um but if you're doing like basic stream five minute ten minute 15 20 minutes igtv could work in those instances um yeah. perfectly well but let me show you this tool that a lot of people probably don't even know 
um you could actually pull for instance youtube let me get to come up first right you could actually have a youtube tab on your facebook page so without having to leave facebook the only normal thing is that we post a link so you post right. a link on and when they click it moves them from youtube let me just mute this. yeah it moves it from youtube from facebook into youtube but with right. the tab you could still be in facebook and watching a youtube video using oh. the youtube tab now a lot of people don't know this yeah, right. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, well, I could show you that. It's not a problem. I've been doing this for quite a while. But under your menu, you see where you have your menu, home, events, your thing, thing, thing. Under more is where you could put your YouTube tab. You could even put an Instagram. Yeah, you could even you could even put an Instagram tab right here as well. Oh, okay. All right? right. As well as you could also put a live tab right on your page so okay yes it, there are a lot of things you could do so with the youtube um come on already right this is one of the last episodes i did for instance and you have you have like the most recent set of videos that you did um down at the bottom so you could just click on one right and again it opens up right here it doesn't leave facebook to go anywhere okay okay right, yeah, so yeah, you could yeah. enjoy it there. and at any point you could just jump across to wherever you browsing or whatever in facebook and mm-hmm. you know so there's a matter of learning these things um yeah so yeah because to be juggling back and forth between three four five different apps oh lord father <laughs> and i and that you think i realize people too at first, this 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 new one tiktok I can't keep up with TikTok. I'm trying to figure out what is the big thing with TikTok. Creating funny videos. But the thing is, you could do that on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> no different. That's my, that's my point. It is no different than if you do it on Instagram or I. Well, I I, I want somebody to show me what is the difference. Seriously. Instagram is not related more fun videos than TikTok or Facebook. Well, yeah. Instagram, yeah. Go ahead. Off. <laughs> well yeah i hear what you're saying i hear what you're saying but the thing is what part what what part of instagram say it is not for that i guess over time that is what it has become because people choose to make it, it that po- so exactly so that, yeah because and yet and that's the thing so the people who came up with tiktok look at this the other one um snapchat well snapchat crazy that's our next that's yeah, one. That who, who? I mean, because that's a nine. Yeah, that. snap, Snapchat, and and Twitter mad on a different level. Um, <laughs> but the thing about TikTok is like it's almost like if somebody decide or a group of people decide, guys, here what nobody ain't posting funny videos on Instagram. Let me do a little thing and only post funny videos. But what prevented you from using Instagram to post your funny videos in the first place? I guess because a lot of you know content. That is talking on Instagram is around yeah. Instagram model. It's around puts not your best picture, but best to you for companies advertising TikTok or services, but it's just glamorous. Everything. I hear yeah, yeah. I hear yeah. Whereas TikTok is like the feeling of the normal desktop, which is what some crap you're doing, you're walking to them. But I see people do that on Instagram. I I don't know if that's my feed. Yeah, I can see a lot of that on Instagram. <laughs> and the thing is, they're doing the TikTok and then they come and take the same TikTok video and put it back on the Instagram. It depends on how popular that video is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, boy, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. My thing is, I just find it so... They have too many different apps and... Yeah, TikTok is a really group where you find more younger, younger audiences using I I think the, I think the no that's true while that is true I think I think the prop well let me just say problem the thing what I'm seeing I'm seeing a bigger uh, kind of digress because we're talking right mm-hmm. what I what the, the bigger picture that I'm seeing is a state of I want to be careful how I say this. Eh? Almost, it's almost as if we can't think for ourselves. 
somebody always has to tell us no follow us in somebody always has to tell us what to do that's why i, re- I raised the issue with instagram what is who who says that you cannot use instagram to post funny videos what? no i said who who says you cannot use instagram to post funny videos nobody, what? nobody that. that's my point you know but there's this thing that if we don't see people doing it then we don't do it no, that's true. so we, so we always in this state of waiting to see what happens rather than you set the trend well if if you want to see, why you can't do it why you can't be the trendsetter you understand we're always looking to see what next what somebody else is doing as that next philosophic philosophical thing that people has have problem with me and that but why 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 are you waiting to see you know if there's nothing preventing you why yeah you know why the first person who does it normally is the one who is in the line of fire yeah true so you would be okay you will find nothing wrong with it all right let's look at him when he started to have words of taxi and so on and he called himself out yeah yeah so you know it's always the first person may not be as fortunate as who comes after them no that's a fact that's a fact but look at like for instance, that is a fact as well no, look at look at look at you now let's do a quick comparison look at youtube facebook now there's a clear cut difference between the two facebook you could chat you could have conversations with people and youtube don't give the whole allow those facilities youtube is just for videos right. watch watch live or post to rewatch at the next time that's the basics of it while a video is up you could live chat like what has been happening here once yeah. that video goes once that live is done the live chat done Right. whereas facebook you could jump up at any point and pull a conversation with people have group chats you know that kind of thing so there's a clear distinction between the two yeah but i still want apart from the content that is posted i really want somebody to explain me what is the real difference between ig and tiktok because honestly i don't see a difference no i, I don't i don't and I, I'm, I'm willing to be schooled but i honestly don't see a difference so so then if there's no difference then what is the big fascination or is it just because it is new which is another problem we have as people we always like the latest whatever so we have something that working all the time but just because something new you remember when um imo came on uh-huh. imo or some people pronounce it imo imo i don't know well look at that but that was a big thing for a while that was our next social media you remember viber you remember viber well yeah i was on that before. I, I remember wait. yeah but wait one you, you understand because it wasn't much different to uh, yeah, okay. well it, it just died a natural death because it wasn't really doing anything different to what like whatsapp and stuff was doing uh-huh. you know so i mean most of might have like a couple stickers different but outside on that what new is it bringing you know but because it was new a, a lot of people jump across it oh viber 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 and then they realize okay back to whatsapp because they make no difference then i'm uh-huh. come out i am some people call it pronounce it emo but i am in my opinion so is that chatting jump across oh what's that big thing high five was with that one at one time that, oh my God, <laughs> <you know? laughs> but that's but that's us we we always looking to something new come out we run we run yeah, yeah. now snapchat for instance again snapchat is different snapchat allows you to do all this crazy thing with your face and the yeah, you know, does, yeah. so a lot of people like that all right so that has something unique about it so i could understand that to a point but outside of that what does it offer that the others haven't you know if anything at all well i, I know one i know one snapchat anyway we can't talk that on this 
this that enough of this this yeah that that's a rated something no but snapchat and twitter crazy where that is concerned yeah. the adult yeah. content yeah. and all that kind of thing mad yeah, i don't need them yeah, it's a different story yeah. <laughs> yeah boy no no said mad out there <laughs> oh, no. so who does handle, you handle your social media all your social media stuff yes i do are you looking for somebody to do that way? I, I not that's not me. Is I, it, I, it is. It's, I really it's don't because have it now. Boy. I even with Instagram, like you have to be consistently posting on Instagram yeah, and videos, speeches, and software or yeah. sorry, apps to make your stories interesting. Yeah, that's why I decided to do these these specific pages. So that I could get somebody to manage and keep it separate from my private stuff. So that's just a uh-huh. business page. So you, I set you up as a manager or whatever. I really need to get yeah. somebody like that. But I, I really able. I able. I able. <laughs> yeah, you're ready to have to me. So I definitely need to put the time in the day. Yeah. On my Instagram and my Facebook. Because it's really basic. It's too well. And I'm allowed to listen to my private. You just send me lots of requests. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, those are the two pages that I basically manage from off my phone. Yeah. Um, yeah, for when I do videos, I try to do short videos. So, but YouTube, Kathy yeah, Edison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes too long. <laughs> yeah, well, good. That boy is just. Can I get this one? No, actually, they have, you know. It, no, they have, you know. Uh-huh. They have, they have. But the thing is, they're very, they're okay with what they do. But the thing is, your work end up looking like everybody else because if you have a million people using the same app, then your video looks like a million other people own. And, you yeah. know. So there's, after a while, it, it becomes some kind of monotony steps in because like you've seen the same thing over and over and over but they have apps that does you know those kind of quick work okay i'm actually looking for that for some time i comment from my boy daniel so it's because of snapchat and the fact that they don't want to sell to facebook that mark zuckerberg came up with those state of up, status updates <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's true, eh? and and it, and that's a, a next piece of drama by itself. These all these buy out and sell out and all that kind of different story. Mark Zuckerberg and them too greedy. Yeah, so, well, then, uh, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. Becomes lost in the crowd. Yeah, it's a, it's a sad kind of scenario, but anyhow, it is what it is. Sometimes we just had to navigate the madness and 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 make the best out of it. Because at the end of the day, there are all kind of people in the world. Um, as there's a little saying, there are those who watch things happen. No, there are those who make things happen. There are those who watch things happen. And then there are those who wonder what just happened. Yeah. You know, so you always have to decide you know, you always have to be juggling amongst those. I prefer to be one of those that make things happen. Um Yeah, so let me ask you this Mosai. What you see in the future for Mosai Robinson, the YouTuber? I <laughs> I really enjoy doing my content. Um, when I started the channel, I was like, exactly when I moved up to I was like, oh, people like me. Oh my God, hey, you know, you know what? Let me, uh, if I can, if I can jump back in quick. Um, I saw a few people, not locals, uh, not, but I saw a few people f- on foreign doing it. Maybe there's something you could look at. Um, because they're using certain products continuously on their channel. Mm-hmm. They eventually reached out to the various companies and became a reseller. Uh-huh. So maybe that's something you could look at. Yeah, but I have a lot of things. I remember today I'm with some companies. Yes, yes, so, yes, yes. Um, 
Just see when I say something, but in the meantime, I would just love the concert. Yeah. I love for, um, and I know people in the comment section, I don't know, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I guess you have to find a niche, and yeah. finding it is basically a challenge for a lot of them to go. So you tend to give up. Ah, so you see a system and you like losing you exercise and then you plateau for a while and you yeah. don't continue exercising, then you break that back you go come back, yeah. Because like you put it was not content, you can't have a password and then bam, just like not even anyone. And yeah. so a lot of people guys when they stop uploading, they stop posting content. Yeah. And I guess that's at least not for not, at least not for us Chinese. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. Exactly. Like, it's kind of the first thing, is it? Yeah. It's just that it wouldn't happen right out. No, that's what I meant. Yeah. 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 Steps, you know, you have to look at it in the movie when you're doing videos and that kind of thing. Yeah. They want to see that you one that is consistent, which you upload, mm-hmm. that you're prepared three times, that other persons come on the farm, which is the basic you know, your farm has been the same. Yeah. And the quality of your videos. So some of them will come out in and some of them will be more like Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you have to look at all of that. Um, and it works, but it's an investment. It's like a business. Yeah, it is. You have to invest before you see growth. Yep. You can't expect if I put like so. I'm gonna do a lot. I can take a thousand subscribers, and she is gonna put two years. Mm-hmm. And she has a thousand subscribers this week. Okay. So don't yes, expect man. to come on YouTube and then bam. Overnight success, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was like fortunate, like it's been a year since I've been on YouTube and I've reached a thousand subscribers. So that hasn't come easy. It has to be consistent with the uploads. And I'm yeah. doing that at least with not up to make videos. I've been sitting there and I was like into it. And then I'm like, mm-hmm. what? I see one here because I enjoy the data, I enjoy the comments, so I enjoy being with the Yeah. <laughs> so I put it on my videos. <laughs> yeah, you're planning, you're planning. You my videos, those tech people who are talking about me, and then whoever they talk to about me, about me, so I'm going to You plan to do live, any live stuff? On yeah, the, well, the YouTube? I have a Yeah, I have a shed. Live, well, not on YouTube, this week. I have a shared live on Facebook for tomorrow. Okay. So, okay. We have to do a live video have a video tomorrow on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, I think most likely I'll be able to do it over the weekend on Saturday. Yeah. So that'll be that. Okay, cool, cool. I got you, I got you, I got you. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we've been having a nice chat here. This is Mrs. Moose. Hi. Robbins, let me get a close up. Mosai Robbins, <laughs> <laughs> wife of Kenny, wife of Kenyatta Robbins. Let me make sure and put that in. You know, I don't know who viewing, oh, oh so let me make sure and put that piece inside. <laughs> Loving and faithful wife of Kenyatta Robbins. <laughs> and if only see the African, you understand? It's not, oh it not easy, um, but they're not serious talk so. This is Mosai's Facebook page. So you feel free to go and check out Mosai Robinson. And you could see a lot of stuff, pictures and whatnot. You have some videos of stuff that she's yeah. done and she's been doing. Um, feel free to go through, browse. And then, of course, you could also find her on Instagram. Again, Mosai Robinson. Um, 629 followers and growing nice. That's what we're talking about self-taught makeup artist and beauty influencer that is exciting and of course the link for her youtube channel is also right there so jump in jump in jump in jump in jump in follow like share subscribe do the needful um there's always something to learn 
and my thing is let's let's support local let's help local yeah. you understand is we is we i mean most of the products might be coming from outside okay because we don't have a thriving makeup industry here yet but at it, least it's yeah it's growing it's growing i know a few people who have their own lines a few local people who have their yeah. own lines of products um so it's growing yeah okay yes. yeah man because they are, are trying to find a yeah yeah i know a few people man so and that's what we're talking about so ladies and gentlemen this is it we're wrapping it up one more more sell i wonder more sigh i would say more sell again you know? Ah. Mosai, Nikki. Let me call you Nikki. I know you, Nikki. This Mosai thing, man. Nikki. Yeah, yeah. Right. Next year, I want to ask you. Um. So you're not doing YouTube as a business now. Oh. Um. Is it something that you could seek be, being turned into a business in the future? Yes. Yes. Honestly, I can. All right. I see a little African just run across the back of it. <laughs> That's all right. That's your home. That's understood. Yeah. All right. Let me, let me ask um, closing remarks. What 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 advice would you want to leave with? Um, because you're not. Let me put it this way. Um, you're not an entrepreneur yet, or are you? Are you or no? You're not. What's that? But my own business. Yeah. You have, yeah, a, you have a business. Uh-huh. What business? You have? Well, look. Sorry. Well, hmm. what business <laughs> you have? If I may ask. Um, it's fashion. For the time, I can have started that. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah, 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 yes. Right. Oh, good. Yeah. Ashim. Ole Ashim. Ole Ashim. Right. <laughs> Ashim. So that's our next. That's our next conversation we had to have. At the yeah. next time, right? Um, but so, what, 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 what? One piece of advice um, would you want to leave with people? Because you have your business, as you said, but you still have a job. Yeah. Why? why you have a, you have a good. Is you we? You have a good paying job. Why do the business? Why you decided to uh, do the business? I need to have an <laughs> Um. For me, your 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 day job is not enough to what you are trying to say in with my words. Yeah. It's just not enough for the body. Yeah, yeah, I have so. four babies, and you know, have you have your rent to pay, you have your loans to pay, you have a lot of things going on. So for me, I needed that extra job to do that. Me that uh, my children for and my daughter's education because she wants to be a doctor and she is doing her for MBA. I need to set up a function for my daughter. Yeah, yeah. I can't set up a function just for my daily family. Yeah, I need something more. Yeah, especially for kids. Mm hmm. Yeah. So that is basically why I have like my business and I did YouTube. I always try to find a way to increase thing an income stream. You need to have another stream of income. Yeah. I don't know if I have or tree. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, most don't hold um hold the line. Those don't go away yet. So, ladies and gentlemen, this way we wrap it up. This way we knock it off. This way we say thank you again. Big, big thank you to Mosai Robinson, aka Nikki. That's what I know her as Nikki. So I will call her Nikki. That's my friend Nikki. <laughs> so I just want to say thanks to Nikki uh, for taking the time to share her experience as a mother, as a full time mom, full time worker having a business and still running a youtube channel and of course you can see she looks very fit very young very beautiful very energetic very sprighty very ready to go you know if you see somebody workout videos and stuff like that you know she not easy 
Um, we want to say thanks to her for taking the time to be part of it. And that's it. This is where we shut it down for the evening. Look out for another episode next week. We have a very other interesting guest. Um, we have a very interesting month lined up. We have Mr. Adrian Frederick, who's coming back with part two of a conversation that we had a few weeks ago. And he has a very interesting product that he's going to launch as well right here. So we are privileged to have Adrian launch a product here on Red. And then um, the third, the, the the coming on to the end of August, I'm going to be doing Red from Tobago because I'll be, I'm supposed to be in, supposed to be in Tobago that week. So I might be doing Red in Tobago. So you Tobago crew, Look out for me. I want to pull a couple early on the live and we could do a thing and talk on red, right? So, this is what we're talking about. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we hang it up for the evening. We out.